Right now we're at Snowshoot and this is literally the first time that I've had a chance to ride these kind of 7 8 size sleds. We've got the Venom behind me and then a little bit further down that way we've got the Blast. But uh, right now I'm going to hop on this Venom for the, not the first time, I've got uh, maybe about 40 miles on it so far. This thing's a blast and I just want to go tell you about it. So this is the Venom. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Electric start, that's a good thing. And uh, we're going to go that way. See you later. Bye, Blast. So, like I said, I got about uh, 40, maybe maybe 50 miles on this thing so far. And I got to say, without sounding a little bit dumb, this thing's a blast. But uh, really, I mean, it's meant to be the in-between size sled, uh, you know, between the 200s and full size. And I mean, they nailed it. A lot of fun. I mean, so far we've been rallying on these things. We've had a couple of them out. Um, I think full blast right to uh, right to the bars. We've seen 67 miles an hour out of them. But I mean, there's full blast right there. It's not going to blow your hair back, but for the intended audience, I mean, it's pretty darn good. Um, right there, that's uh, what we're doing. Uh, let's see, about 50 miles an hour right now. So that's more than acceptable. You can see by the throttle. I mean, I'm not holding it wide open by any stretch of the imagination. But, uh, you know, it's comfortable. If, if Right off the bat, if I had a complaint, I would say maybe for, for young riders that, uh, that don't weigh quite as much as I do, which, uh, you know, I'm in that, uh, that kind of 200 pound range as much as I don't want to admit that, um, it's, it's a little stiff, I think, for young riders. It would be nice to have like a sm slightly softer shock package or spring package. I think with that it would change this uh, the sled quite a bit. But I mean, going down the trail, this is quite a lot of fun. I mean, you can hang off the side, get going around the corners. It is a little tippy compared to a bigger sled, but I think that's just my weight on the top pushing it around more than anything else. So at the end of the day, again, you got to really think about what this machine is designed for. It's not designed for a 200 pound guy to go rally on the trails with a bunch of buddies. It's really designed for that maybe 13 to 14, 15, 16 year old, um, you know, that type of youth rider is, is obviously going to fit very well on this. But beyond the youth rider, I think the next size rider is going to be, you know, um, people who are trying to get back into snowmobiling because you can ride this all day. There's no reason why you can't. And uh, I'm just going to turn around here because I don't want to go too far. This trail is very straight and it's not very exciting at all. Uh, I'm just going to pull off trail. There we go. They do have a mountain version of this, which is way better off trail. But these ones aren't too bad. They float pretty good. Anyways, I was saying, uh, we're clear. These sleds are excellent options for people who are getting back into snowmobiling. Maybe it's a wife or a girlfriend that, uh, you know, it's a little uncomfortable on the bigger sleds. They can jump on these things and, you know, again, run it normal trail speed it's actually more speed right now so uh, it is what it is but you can run at whatever speed these things are capable of doing feel comfortable in control again you can move around on them really nice to uh, to have that driver input on them uh, and then the uh, 400 cc two stroke it's it's smooth it doesn't have a one longer type of type of feel to it if that makes sense this thing uh, runs nice and smooth electric start EFI, you don't have to fool around with enrichments or chokes or anything like that. Just get on, turn the, turn the key and ride. So, uh, what else can I say? Oh, obviously, the Articat has, uh, has got a blast as well, and that was this, this chassis was very much a co development project between Articat and Yamaha. And, uh, you know, it's got an Articat engine in it, but uh, this thing, I, I mean, if, with, without trying to sound a little too gushing about it. I mean, it's, it's perfect. Uh, it really fills that void between the uh, 200 class sled, uh, the snow scoots, and, you know, full size stuff. And again, it, it's, it's not, this is not just a youth sled, uh, although that may be where one of the Genesis uh, ideas was for this machine. I mean, this goes way beyond youth. Because uh, it, is, it is really a 
a, a viable snow one. There we go. Got some ski lift there. But uh, yeah, again, I've been riding this all morning. I've got 119 miles on it right now. I got on it, and this thing had 80. So that's what almost 60 miles on it now, and uh, I'm quite happy with it. I must say. And I mean, you got to take a look at it too. Sorry for my shadow, but I mean, that is a good looking sled.